camera speed. Now, here is a motion picture film. Good evening, and welcome to Movie Drone Remastered. Tonight's film is the first time we have stepped past the millennium on this series with a motion picture that was first screened in 2017. It is the brainchild of first-time writer-director Elijah Bynum and star skinny boy heartthrob Timothy Chalamet, famous for his performance in Call Me By Your Name. Tonight's film was released by A24 and is called Hot Summer Nights. The film was inspired by two peers that Bynum went to university with, a mighty friend who started selling weed, got in over their heads and disappeared. At least that's how the story goes. You can't believe everything you hear at school. Or is that on the internet? You tell me. The script for Hot Summer Nights found its way onto the mythical blacklist, a modern phenomenon where screenplays that are receiving a lot of attention from execs are put onto a list which is then published online. That doesn't necessarily mean the screenplays are good. Remember, these execs are just as responsible for what Mirror Mirror as they are for Pretty Woman. It means these screenplays are receiving a lot of attention. The script for Hot Summer Nights was on the list in 2013, in the same year as another one of Bynum's scripts, Mississippi Mud. To have two scripts on the blacklist in the same year as a first-time writer, that's very impressive. Hot Summer Nights tells the story of Daniel, played by Chalamet, who is sent to spend the summer of 1991 in Cape Cod, 1991 being the year that Freddie Mercury passed away, as the opening narration reminds us. Daniel is your classic loser, but eventually forms an unlikely relationship with local badass Hunter Strawberry. No, I'm not kidding, played by Alex Rowe. They start selling weed in a really big way, which is then complicated when Daniel falls for Hunter's sister, Michaela, played by Maika Monroe. Eventually, everything gets a bit crazy. After all, it's not called chilled autumn evenings. The film marks the first time Bynum had ever directed anything and was made before Chalamet was a major star. It is a gorgeous film, heartbreakingly aesthetic, to the point that for 107 minutes I wanted to lick the screen, it looked that good. The cinematography comes from Argentinian Javier Julier and this film, I believe, is his only English language movie. The movie was released by A24, the company behind Spring Breakers and the stunning television series Euphoria, both of which are just as stunning to look at. It could be said then that A24 are to modern indie films what Dirty Hit are to modern indie music. The cast give the film everything and it really shows, making the movie worth watching even when the plot begins to cast itself adrift. The film jumps genres from coming of age to crime thriller and back to coming of age again, all in just over an hour and a half, which is a real strength. It's immensely refreshing to see a film about teenagers trying something different especially with so many churned out by Movie McDonald's Netflix that stick so strictly to genre, you're left longing for something other than a cheeseburger. Bynum is confident in the story he's telling until he isn't. I have to say that the film left the taste of disappointment in my mouth as the credits rolled. Hot Summer Nights suffers from the same problem as the film Basic Instinct. The tension and the suspense are built and built and built and built to an ending that goes nowhere. In the case of Basic Instinct, the ending suffocates and drops off a cliff. That really annoys me given the film's status as a classic. If you're going to build the tension to Hitchcockian levels, at least do something with it. Look at Psycho if you're wondering what a climax should be like. In the case of Hot Summer Nights, it doesn't so much as climax as it does fizzle out. The ending does everything it's already told you it's going to, surprising no one. A24, who are notoriously smart when it comes to the release and marketing of their films, seem to have dropped the ball in the case of Hot Summer Nights. The film premiered at South by Southwest, where A24 bought the distribution rights before giving it to an AT&T streaming service I'd never heard of before until now, called Direct TV Cinema. After that, they gave the film a very limited theatrical release in 2018. Regardless of its flaws, Hot Summer Nights deserved far better, an actual marketing strategy and some proper attention. It seems to be the only film that Bynum has ever directed. He has since gone on to work in television, and it's a real shame because he seemed to be very confident doing his own thing. And for a directorial debut with no prior experience, Hot Summer Nights is a film to be very, very proud of. A massive achievement. Only now, after the success of its star, Timothy Chalamet, is the film being discovered by a whole young generation of film fans. 
and I'm in no doubt that they will soon elevate it to cult status. It may not be the dictionary definition of a cult film now, but just you wait. It's a film that had so much potential that it didn't quite live up to, both on and off screen. Gorgeous to look at, with a stunning cast, this is Hot Summer Nights.